What's good, y'all? It's Dan Titus here with the Action Network. Ready to prop off for Thursday night. We got the Pittsburgh Steelers going up against the Minnesota Vikings on a Thursday showdown. No, we got burned last week with a couple of big plays. So let's get back to the lab and get this money. So the first play that I like is Kirk Cousins over 32 and a half passing attempts. You can get that at minus 115 at points bet. I know we're talking about prime time Kirk Cousins. Probably not what you wanted to hear, but Kirk Cousins has surprisingly gone over 32 and a half passing attempts in 75% of the games played this year. That's right, nine out of 12 games. And he's done this in each of the last five games at home this year. He's down one of his favorite targets in Adam Thielen, but rest assured, KJ Osborne and Tyler Conklin should be ready to step up to the plate in a pass-happy offense against the Steelers on Thursday. Pittsburgh comes into Thursday night allowing opposing quarterbacks to throw for 34 pass attempts per game this season. And over their last three games, they've managed to allow quarterbacks to throw for 33. So Kirk Cousins fits right into that window. Our action projection tool has Kirk Cousins throwing for 34 pass attempts with a bet quality rating of eight out of 10. I'm going the over. The second play that I like is Deontay Johnson over six and a half receptions. You can grab that at minus 115 at DraftKings. So Deontay Johnson's coming off his third hundred yard game this season in week 12, but I'm expecting him to do the same thing against the Minnesota Vikings. The Minnesota Vikings ranked bottom five and pass DVOA this season, allowing seven and a half receptions to opposing wide receiver ones. He's gone over this line in 64% of the games played this season. And over the last four games, 12.7 targets per game over that span and a whopping 7.8 reception. So top target for Big Ben in this game where they need a W. I like Deontay Johnson to go over six and a half receptions. And my final play for Thursday night, Zach Gentry under eight and a half receiving yards. You can get that at minus 120 at DraftKings. So for me, nothing better than fading a backup tight end on Thursday night. So this is the second time this year that Zach Gentry has actually garnered a prop. His first prop appeared versus the Chicago Bears, where it was set at 11 and a half. And what happened when he got that prop? He went for a zero. So at this point, not much that you can trust with Zach Gentry. He did go over eight and a half receiving yards in the last two games, but he's seen a very low target share, only two targets in each of the last two games. Not much promise here for a team like the Minnesota Vikings that's played well against the tight end position this season. The Minnesota Vikings currently rank 11th in pass DVOA against opposing tight ends, but with our action projection tool projecting Zach Gentry to only get 5.7 receiving yards, Got to bang the under. That's our three props for Thursday night. If you guys like the content, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe to the Action Network YouTube channel for more picks and plays from the Action Network crew. Until next time.